Hey guys, it's Anna slash Bun Bun for Possum.com, and I'm here to show you one major place that I get all my molds from. Um, I do have molds from other places, but this is my main place that I tend to get my molds from. She is super kind, super nice. She has amazing quality of her molds. Um, I'll put where I get them from in the description box below so you guys can check that out. Um, she, I believe it is Rockstar Hottie. Um, it's on Store Envy. It's a little complicated to find, so but it's okay because I'll have the link in the description. Um, so I have some molds here that I've already had from her, and then I have some that just came in. Um, so I have a Rilakkuma mold. So this is what it looks like. And all these molds are of a plastic material. Um, I kind of like using the plastic material kind more because you get like that shine. Um, more than half the time when you get a mold that's made of plastic, it's going to be shiny. So whatever you pour in it is going to be shiny too, so it cuts your work in half. So here's my, um, my blank, my little test. It was intended to be like Curlicuma, but I made it too yellow. Um, but that's okay, I still pour it anyways. So that is this mold. Fits right in there. Um, I also got this mold from her. It's like a moon mold. And I like how it has, um, well, it could be like a pendant like this, but I think it's more of a moon mold. It has a little spot um, right up top here, like to drill a hole. And there's a spot on this side too. Um, but I'm using it as a moon. So here's some examples that are undone. They're still needing to be finished. So they're really sparkly, iridescent. Um, I'm going to dome the backs with white. So that's my examples for that. Uh, let's see. This is going to be kind of a long video. I sincerely apologize. I have this mold from her. I'm trying to focus. Um, okay. So I have this mold from her. Um, I also have some blanks of that. And here they are. It's just a really cute heart mold. I think it's a really good size. It's perfect. It's shiny. It's awesome. I love it. Um, I have this mold from her. And it's got like a bow on this side. Um, a heart piece here. A bigger heart here. I have like a lavender purple in the bow portion um, but I'm not done finishing it and then I have a little sparkly heart example for this piece so it's just like every other type of mold whatever you pour or push into it it's gonna come out that shape so that's my example of that mold <laughs> that's all the rest that I have as of being examples um, she has some trinket boxes as well. Um, this one is like a little tooth one. I haven't poured into any of these other ones I'll be showing you, so please bear with me. Um, but she has like a little tooth one. And basically you pour into this portion here. And it leaves this area open there. And then here's your top. There's no rim for the top. Um, but it'll still sit on top of there, no problem. So, And it's really small, so it's meant for... I think it's meant for just like a little child's tooth or something, like the Tooth Fairy. I have a little bone mold. Um, a bow mold, this side is larger, that's what I think is kind of weird about it, so I'll probably never use it. <laughs> um, and then I have this humongous jumbo um, sheet. I kind of like having all my stuff kind of connected like this. Um, but there's a bunch of stars over here, there's like, um, gummy worms, some gummy bears, uh, sweetest fish. Um, I'm pouring into these ones hopefully soon. Um, it'll be like a 
white or like a maybe semi-transparent uh, background to these. And I just put little candy pieces in them. Um, there's like a big teddy bear thing here. A uh, candy bar, bitten candy bar, some jelly beans and lollipops. It's pretty much like a candy sheet. So I have that from her. Um, these ones just came in that I'll be showing you. So there's this one. It's like an ostrich thing. I've seen these before where people like put feathers or um, beads or things like that. Dangly chains and things coming down from them. I don't know if I'll ever use it or not, but it is cool to have. Um, I have a big sheet of these bows actually, but it's stored away with all my other molds. Um, but these are the ones that I had out anyways. Um, so there's a Hello Kitty bow. There's two smaller hearts. Um, it is kind of like this shape, but smaller. There is a flower here and a smaller flower of a different style. There's some triple stars here. So that would be really cute. And I think you can make, yeah, you can make each star um, a different color if you want. And then just like do the whole back like one color. That'd be really cute for like a clip. This is adorable. I'm so excited that, that I've seen this. It's so cute. There is my Melody on the side and then her cute sheepy friend. Oh, it's so cute. I can't wait to pour into these. You have no idea. It, it'd probably just be like a flat color, um, but it's so cute. I love it. It's so cute. There is some more stars here, some double stars. It's the same way as the triple stars, it's just double. Um, I actually never had any of these before. I've been looking at them and I thought about getting some, but I never did. Um, so this will be really exciting for me to play with. So here's the... Uh, the center pieces that you put into these. I would assume that these two would fit into these and the circular one would fit into this and the smaller one would fit into this or so I would assume. Um, so here's what they look like. They're like um, your bezels, frames, I, I don't really know the term. Um, here is a llama this one is actually not an alpaca, it is a llama. And each part of this is separate. So you can pour into the eyes separately. You can pour into the cheeks separately, the heart, the bow. It'd be really time consuming, but you can do it. And the face separate, it's like a heart shape. So I think that was really cute. There's this one. I. I, I don't know if it's a carriage um, or if it's like a necklace piece. That's the way I see it anyways. Um, I picture putting something here like um, almost like what you would do with these. I picture putting something here in the center and then doing the whole back one thing and then drilling where these holes are and then make it into a necklace. But I don't know. Something for me to play with. And then there's these, oh so cute, so cute, oh so cute, I'm so excited. So there's a bunny, a kitty, um, okay so this is a male bunny, um, a kitty, a bear, and then a female bunny with a bow. There's a star, the star is phenomenal, be perfect for a pendant. There's an apple, um, there's miniature versions of these, um, these bunny and cat and stuff. There's little miniature versions. There's a little bunny here, a little kitty, and a little bunny here. I think that'd be cute for like uh, little earrings. That'd be really cute, like little bunny earrings. There's a little apple. Um, there's a bow there, a butterfly, and then there's these 3D versions of these same animals on this side, but they're 3D. So there's the kitty, um, the bunny. It looks like she put two kitties on this one, and a bear. And then there's this cute little heart with this little bow on it, and then a bear donut. This is just like a random sheet um, that she put together for me. So, um, that is everything that I have from Rockstar Hottie. I really love all her molds. They're amazing, phenomenal. They all come out really smooth and clean and crisp. I don't have to do any excessive sanding or none at all, which is awesome. 
I actually have more molds of hers in um, my canvas bag that is in my closet stored away. But that is everything that I am able to show you at the particular moment. And I hope that you guys check out her stuff. She makes amazing molds and I would really love to see her continue to make her molds and yep, that is it. So thank you guys for watching with much quiet love. I'll see y'all later. Keep it super cute and crafty. Bye. Whoosh.